three, two, one. Okay, so now I actually want to invite uh, Kosh to join my project directly so we can have some better collaboration. Uh, the way to do that is uh, I go into the particular app that I want to play around with. This time I'm caught a form, right? Click on admin. And over here, I can add collaborators. And there's Kosh. And I can keep on going into infinity here, right? All right, so now let's go back to source. Ah, yeah, there is one thing I'd like to show you about history. I wonder if I can show you that here. Ah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, now Earlier, uh, we did a little pull request with, with Kosh, that remote uh, collaboration type deal. And you see that I, I merged that request, and it, it's still me here. We're going to see something interesting now when we have uh, some direct collaboration. I'm going to go over to my issues section, where um, I have an issue that I, that I created that I need fixed. Yeah? In this case, I need a nice little contact form. Uh, built and I want uh, this time I'm gonna I'm gonna hand that off to my other developer Kosh and let Kosh uh, work on that while I work on something else on the site so let's say I want to here we have oh yeah issues and milestones we'll be going over that in the next section right now I want to assign this issue Click on that. I want to assign this issue to Kosh. Ah, uh, yeah. I also want to. I could categorize this uh, into a milestone if I have any uh, open milestones that exist inside the uh, the app. But again, we'll go over uh, milestones in the next section. So, okay, so now we have an issue, build a contact form, that issue is open, and it's been assigned to Kosh. So, let's go back to issues. And we see a little image there that's been assigned to Kosh. Okay, now we're going to talk about um, a different way of doing collaboration without uh, doing the whole pull push workflow thing uh, that is one way of doing it two different uh, developers um, working off of two separate code trees uh, making changes and then hitting um, pull and push uh, between each other but there's there's another way of doing this and it's, it's uh, I think it's a better way or at least I like it more all right so the first thing we have to do I'm logged in as Kosh I'm gonna go over to um, going to go over to Fonzo's code. <clears throat> See, that's not where I wanted to land. I want to land on the Fonzo. There we go. Okay. Going to go over to uh, the Cotter form. And I'm actually going to clone Fonzo's code directly to my machine, a new directory. And just so I don't confuse myself or you, going to give it a, a specific name, Fonzo, yeah, so we can actually tell the difference from anything else I've got. Now, notice how it just kind of moved everything up here, yeah? And I was telling you I've got a clone repository. Uh, this uh, repository now lives on my machine, and the GitHub app, which we're in now, actually uh, indicates this. <coughs> Excuse me. So now, I'm going to... Uh, 
take care of the issue that has been assigned to me as Kosh to build a contact form. And we'll do that in just a moment. I'm now inside TextMate. I've got two windows in TextMate open. Uh, this is the, uh, the Fonzo form information, right? I just downloaded it. Identical to what's uh, on GitHub and inside Fonzo's code. And I'm going to just... Uh, these are the changes that I made to my, my separate branch that are in fact my form. And I'm going to move those right over. Do you note here in Fonzo's version, there's no form. And on my local version, there is in fact a simple form. Done the old, the old way, the non-rails way here, but we'll talk about that later. And I'm just doing copy and paste here. Now watch something interesting that happens here. The uh, GitHub app notices all the changes that I've made. Uh, red highlights what's been deleted, green is what's uh, what's been added. Here is a form. I'm going to commit uh, these changes. Then I'm going to sync those changes up. And it's actually now it's pushing those changes to uh, to the remote repository on GitHub. And you kind of see that here. Here is a form. So let's see. We go inside, I'm still logged in as Kosh. We go inside the Fonzo. We take a look at the code. And it says here is a form. That's it. That's the that's the workflow. That's the the other the pull workflow. So let's see. Issues. I can now just Close that because that's been done. Issue. Close issue. And I would say that issues disappears. So that's that's basically it. That's basically the whole workflow.